In Kittle, you can vectorize your images and graphics in color. You can use our color slider to decide how many colors you want in your graphic. Hit the vectorization tool and boom, it will do it for you. So let's look at a couple of examples and how to get the best results right now. All right, I'm going to show you a couple of methods for vectorizing in color. But for the first one, we're going to actually use Kill AI to come up with some art for us. What I'm going to do is select Detailed Drawing. And then I'm going to type a prompt. I'm going to go ahead and go for some like magical style mushrooms because I know they can be pretty colorful at times. And so we're going to wait for that to give us something. And check this out. This looks pretty cool. It's actually a whole group of mushrooms. That's pretty cool. And it's worth challenging to see how well Kittle does. So let's go ahead and take off the background. Boom. The background is done. And now if I click on image vectorizer, you can see here we have a colors slider. You can go all the way up to 16 for this. So let's count our colors real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's there's probably about 10 here. So I'm going to go for 10. We're going to go ahead and put this slider up at that. And then we'll hit vectorize image and the magic is going to happen and you're gonna see your graphic become vector. And look at this, now you have all of your object colors up here. We selected 10, so now here they are. So now if I want a green mushroom instead of this orangey color, then I can just do that. I can go through and I can make whatever iteration of colors of, of mushrooms and things that I want just like that. Now let's go to an element. Let's say you're looking in our illustrations panel and you have come across a graphic, an illustration that's not vector. For example, these vintage florals, are not vector they are extremely high resolution pngs but they're not vector so let's go ahead and choose an amount i think three or four colors for this would be fine boom look at that it's vector now it's completely vector means it's scalable and if we want this to be you know slightly purple instead of this bright red or pink i can just do that now i can easily change it to be vector for whatever I want, whether it's a shirt or sticker or anything else. Now you can also vectorize photos. So let's go ahead and type in fox. We're gonna go for an animal for this. I think foxes are just beautiful. Look at these guys, they're so, so nice. And look at this photo right here, this is perfect. Now, keep in mind that this is gonna vary between your photos. This is a very clear subject, but there's still a lot of detail here that might uh, not be picked up specifically in a vectorizer. So be very specific on the photos you're trying to vectorize. But let's go ahead and put this to the test now because of we can because we can test it i'm going to go in iterations and show you how to do that to, to get the best result let's go for three colors at first i want to see what happens with this fox we have one two three right here so basically a white an orange and a black and so when i vectorize it it's going to give me something it's pretty close i mean you can tell that's a fox but you can just hit command Z and we can just try again. So let's go up to five and let's see if that works. So boom, let's vectorize image. And that's definitely a little closer, okay? Cause you can see how there's different grays and blacks there. And then maybe we try something like seven. Uh, and again, it depends on how detailed you want this graphic to be. And that, that does look pretty awesome. Now I can size this up and, and change my colors or I can even make certain colors the same color so I don't have as many. But those are the ways that you can easily vectorize images and graphics in Kittle. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.